I did a thing. I bought a new car. was performing since the tragedy that occurred at Astro World, with him being back on stage. My little princess, look over here. I'm gonna keep your eye on the sunset. Where is he doing it? I'm back. What is up you guys? It has been a minute. I literally don't even remember the last time that I vlogged. Actually I do because I'm editing a vlog right now, which is from a concert I went to in March. It is May. <laughs> it has been like two months since I've actually vlogged. It has been so long since I've even uploaded a vlog, but I have missed you guys so much. I have missed vlogging so much. I've missed uploading. I have missed quite literally just being a normal functioning human being. I have been the exact opposite of that. I feel like I've been hibernating, just running away from my problems and stuff that I really should not be doing. With all of that aside, I am back today to vlog for you guys. And I kind of just wanted to catch up and talk a little bit about just like where I've been and my plans for YouTube and for social media in general. Of course, I have a coffee with me so that we can really get right into it. I definitely need this right now. So let's start off with today because I don't even know where to start as far as like catching up with you guys. We will just catch up throughout this whole vlog. But today I am actually about to go help my cousin do her makeup. She has somewhere to be and she wanted me to do some makeup on her. So right now I'm just packing up all of my makeup into some bags. I have this here that I'm going to be putting my makeup brushes in. And then I have this huge like Vera Bradley toiletry bag that has this little hook. I love this so much for just traveling with my makeup in general. But it has a little hook so you can hook it on like the bathroom door or like even I've hooked it on showers and hotel rooms. It has a zipper pocket up here which could be used for brushes or products that you don't want to like explode everywhere. And then it has a couple of little clear pouches where you can put stuff. And then down at the bottom it has a big zipper compartment and that's usually where I put like my foundations and like bigger things that won't fit in the other pockets. I have a bunch of hair elastics in here. I guess I must have left these in here at some point. So yeah, we're gonna pack up some makeup so I can do Haley's makeup and make her look even more beautiful than she already is with a little bit of makeup. There was a particular eyeshadow she actually requested because she saw me wearing it and loved it. And it's actually this color right here and it is called Science Boy and it is from the Phoebe palette, which is from the Friends X Revolution collection. If you know me, you know I love Friends so much. It's like one of the best TV shows ever in my opinion. They have these palettes for each character and I'm also gonna bring my Rem Beauty palette. The Princi Pesa one because that is just one of my favorite makeup products of all time. I literally don't go anywhere without it. I'm gonna bring some tape so I can tape her eyes and give her like a sharp wing. I am gonna bring some eyebrow gel though. I feel like so much has changed since like the last time that I've vlogged. I've tried so many new makeup products. I've tried just so many new things in general. So I feel like we just have a lot to catch up on. I feel like I'm becoming a new version of me. I feel like I'm entering a new era. We're just, we're gonna have to catch up. Don't worry guys, we'll get there. But I have been obsessed with eyebrow gel lately. Sometimes I just won't even do anything with my eyebrows and I'll just gel them up. So we're gonna bring that. I'm gonna bring a couple of liquid lipsticks. I have become obsessed with the NYX lingerie lipstick line. They are so good. And then I might just bring a couple 
lip liners. I don't know what we're going for here today. I know we're just gonna do like a natural look and she has this beautiful dress that I'm gonna try to like make the look match with the dress a little bit. Ooh, you know what I'm gonna bring? I'm gonna bring the Rem Beauty Cooling Balm. I have been using this stuff literally every day since I got it. You know what, let's put some on right now. It's just this jelly style like product and I usually just take a little bit on my finger and I just put it underneath my eyes like so. It feels so good. I can't wait to use this in the summer, like after going to the beach. Then I'm also going to bring these Fit Me foundation shades. Haley doesn't typically wear too much foundation, so I feel like I could easily just put some of this on and call it a day and her skin is gonna look beautiful. Then I'm also gonna bring, of course, the Ram Beauty highlighter. So gorgeous, I'm obsessed with this. I'm gonna bring a couple of Tarte blushes. I'm so into blush lately, that's another thing. Can't forget, of course, my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I'm gonna bring my matte finishing spray by NYX. I'm gonna bring a little spot cleaner for my brush just in case I need to like clean a brush on the fly. Some bronzer. I really can't think of anything else. Oh, a sponge. So much has happened since the beginning of this year. I don't know if you guys know this. I don't think I've like really talked about this story on here yet, but my new year's actually kind of started off really hectic and I felt like it was a bad omen, kind of like warning me about what this year was gonna be like. But then I was like, no, like I'm thinking too much into it. But then literally every single weekend after new year's weekend got worse and worse and just became more and more horrible. So I kind of <laughs> feel like, I don't know, New Year's Eve definitely was telling me that this year was gonna be rough, but basically on New Year's Eve, I worked. And if you guys don't know, I work at a bar. And so I was there naturally until midnight, pretty much. In fact, I had gotten off a little bit before midnight. So I was like, you know what? Like, I'm just gonna stay here and celebrate ring in the new year with my friends, like since I'm already here. So I decided to go home probably around like, I don't know, it was after midnight. So it must've been like maybe one o'clock, let's say I went home and I get home and my family usually goes to sleep really early. Like my mom and dad are usually in bed by like nine o'clock. I'm not even kidding. And this particular day when I got home, like I said, it was New Year's Eve. So I think it must've been, it was either a Saturday into a Sunday or a Sunday into a Monday. I can't remember. I think it was a Saturday into a Sunday. So I was getting home and all of the lights were still on at my house. And like, it was like everyone was awake. The TV was on in the living room. So I walk in the door, I'm on the phone with my best friend, Lulu. And we're just talking cause we were, you know, ringing in the new year together cause she's in California. So it wasn't New Year's yet for her, but we were just talking, whatever. And I walk in the door and I'm like, oh, what is everybody up for New Year's? Like thinking that everyone's up and I hear nothing. And so then I go in the living room, no one's in there. Then I go upstairs, no one's upstairs. I go in each room, literally no one is home. I think my parents' TV was still on in their room. Like it was just, it was so weird. My heart stopped and I was like, there's no way that like someone took my whole entire family. But Tundra was home because I went up and I found that Jason, my sister's boyfriend and Tundra were sleeping. So I was like, okay, why is everyone gone except for Tundra and Jason? Like, this is very weird. So I'm on the phone with Lulu, as I mentioned, and she goes, Amber, do you notice something? Like Rosie's not there. And I was like, and my jaw literally dropped. And if you guys do not know, Rosie was our family dog for 13 years. So my heart dropped and I'm like, Oh no. So I look on my family's GPS, like we all track our location and sure enough, they are all at the emergency vet. So in my heart, I was like, uh oh, Lulu, like I'll call you back. This isn't good. So I call my family and basically Rosie had been going through something where she was having some breathing problems and I think it ended up being aspirated pneumonia. Time goes by like after that, I think the next weekend, like literally a week later, my dad ended up going into the hospital and then it just like something just kept happening. Then we had an ill family member. So then I started going over there and taking care of them on top of like working and doing all of the things. Then fast forward to February, Rosie sadly ended up passing away. And again, it was on a Saturday into a Sunday night. Like everything just kept happening on Sundays. Like every Sunday I would wake up and something bad would happen that day. So it was just, it was a rough couple of months. And honestly, like it still has not ended. I feel like most recently what I've been dealing with is like just kind of like my own mental stuff. One of the things that has been keeping me from making YouTube videos actually has just been that there have been so many like creepy people from my work, like customers and just like creepy people who I don't necessarily want watching my YouTube videos have been watching my YouTube videos and like being creepy and commenting on them. So I won't lie that kind of like deterred me from making YouTube videos for a little while, especially because I wasn't in the right headspace. Like I said, all this bad stuff kept happening. So I was not in a good headspace anyway. And then when I was like getting harassed by these creepy people about my YouTube videos, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna hibernate and like not do anything. So that's another thing that's kind of been bothering me, but 
Also, what example would I be if I let these outside opinions and these like outside people affect me chasing my dreams? Like what kind of influence would I be or like what kind of role model would I be if I was just letting those things stop me and letting those things get to me? So that's kind of why I'm here today because I wanted to just say, you know what, I'm gonna tell myself that I can do this and like I'm gonna let my mind be more powerful and I'm gonna push those fears away and I'm just gonna continue doing what I'm doing. Because you guys know, I used to always be so open about just like vlogging in public. And I would always say, you know, if people look at you and they're judging you, just be like, those motherfuckers don't pay my bills. They don't matter. And I feel like I really need to get back into that headspace. And I also feel like I need to get more spiritual again. Back in 2019, when I went through a big breakup and moved back home, I felt like I really kind of like clung to my spirituality and really like kind of found faith again, I guess, so to speak. I'm not really religious but like I kind of found like my faith again. Lately, I've just been feeling like I really need to get back to that and I need to just trust, like put my trust elsewhere that it's gonna be fine and I can't possibly carry it all myself. Yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at. Also, my love life is a fucking mess as usual. When is it not? That's like a personality trait of mine is that my love life is corrupt and a mess. That's another thing that's been just kind of like playing into it because I did go through, here's a little story. You know what? Tea time. If creepy motherfuckers want to watch my videos, then they're gonna just have to hear the tea. So if this person's watching, sorry, but tea time. So the day that we lost Rosie, like I said, I'm pretty sure it was a Sunday morning. I was asleep and my dad woke me up at like, I don't know, three or four in the morning. We had left Rosie overnight at the vet to get oxygen. So my dad woke me up around like, I don't know, four in the morning and was like, hey, listen, like we gotta go say goodbye to Rosie. So like, let's go. So I wake up, you know, go over on my phone. Cause usually that's what we do when we first wake up, even though it's bad is like, we go on our phone, whatever. I go on Instagram, right? And this guy that I had been talking to on and off for three years, who I had recently been talking to, pops up with a photo of him and this girl who I was assuming was his girlfriend. So that is literally the first thing I see when I wake up after hearing that we're about to go say goodbye to my family dog of 13 years and I know that that shouldn't have had such an effect on me but it did and it it just it was just like another blow that just kept me down now I'm over that guy his loss loser ass motherfucker I'm over him even though I'm over that situation now it's still I don't know it still hurt me and now looking back I'm like it just probably was because I was in a really low space and then that did not help yeah that's just one little tiny example of my mess of a love life I have no words for my love life it is a mess I don't know I just wanted to kind of catch up with you guys and honestly I I just wanted to tell you what's been up. I didn't want to sugarcoat anything. I feel like in my YouTube videos before, like probably in 2019, when my YouTube channel was really at its peak, we'll say, I felt like I had a lot of engagement. I had a lot of new people coming. It was really growing really fast. I feel like during that year, I was more myself than ever online. Like I was really myself. There was not a lot that I didn't tell you guys. I don't know, the past couple of years have really changed me. And now I keep to myself a little bit more. I'm a little bit more scared of what to put out there. And I'm a little bit scared to be like, like personal online just because again you never know who's watching but I'm also really ready for like this new era and I'm ready to just kind of like let go of anything bad that has happened this year and just you know what we have the whole rest of the year we literally have six more months left of this year and I feel like it's gonna be really good the weather's getting warmer my seasonal depression is kind of shifting into a more mild depression <laughs> I think I'll be able to function a little bit better but yeah that is where I have been I think that is the majority of what we need to catch up on. I really need to get my shit together and get out the door because I have to go to Haley's house and glam her real quick. I am gonna bring my camera and I'll show you guys a little behind the scenes of that. I think I'm gonna get some champagne and bring it over so her and I can have some champagne and do some makeup and it's just gonna be so much fun. I did wanna show you guys the finished bag. This is what it looks like. If you guys have been watching my vlogs for a while, you probably have seen this. I've brought it with me to many states in the US and traveled with this bag. It is perfect for makeup. I am hoping I'm not forgetting anything. Then it just actually like folds up like this and then you can tie it together. And it is just the most perfect little travel makeup bag. I don't even know if they still sell these. I got this at the Vera Bradley outlet. Also, you guys, I actually recently got an eyelash lift. I don't know if you can tell, but I got a lash lift and tint. And it's been, I think it's been a week. Oh my God, yeah, it was a week ago today that I got it. And my lashes are still looking pretty good. I am someone who hates mascara. I don't like it the next day. I feel like it leaves residue and it's impossible to get rid of. I don't know, I just don't like it that much. So my girl 
girl Sophia. I'm gonna leave her links down below for her business and for like the spa that she works at. So if you guys wanna go visit her, if you're local, you can. She's doing like lashes, skin, stuff like that. So I wanted to go to her and support her. Me and Chance got lash lifts and tints. Honestly, I'm obsessed. Like I would do it again. I filmed a little TikTok vlog on the whole process. They basically just like perm your eyelashes and make them curly and tint them with some ink of your choice. I did black because that's what I would wear for mascara. All right, I think I have blabbed enough. So it is time to spray some cloud and get the heck out of here. Your makeup done now. It's Max's turn. Yay! You look so pretty. Wait, I want to show a final reveal if that's okay. All right, guys, we did Haley's makeup. It looks so stunning. Yay! And I did Max's makeup. You'll see in the vlog <laughs> I was dabbing him with the brush. <laughs> You guys, I did a thing. I bought a new car. We are in my new car right now. I am so shook. I can't even believe that I literally went out and bought a new car today. Like. Who am I? So if you guys did not know, I uploaded a video over the fall, I believe. I think it was November. Honestly, I can't even remember. These months have been blending. I did upload a video talking about how I got drugged at a bar, blacked out and like don't remember my night because of being drugged, obviously. And something I didn't mention in that video, just because at the time I didn't feel safe or comfortable like kind of saying this online, but I did also get into a car accident that night, which ended in a lot of damage for my car, sadly. Getting a new car has been something that I've been working really hard towards and I've really needed to get a new car because my car was not safe as much as I love my car it has not been safe to drive these past few months ever since the accident it's just been kind of getting worse and worse and worse so here we are I finally have a new car and I wanted to show you guys real quick so this is what it looks like it is a 2018 GMC Terrain I'm just gonna show you guys a quick little overview of the inside of the car Tundi already was testing out the back that's why there's dog hair everywhere there is this little burn hole in the seat, which is why I want to get new seats. They would have fixed it for free, but I kind of want leather seats, especially since, you know, I have Tundi. But yeah, I am just so obsessed. I think that this is just such a cute car and I feel like it's perfect for me. So say hello to my new car. I will definitely give you guys a more like in-depth tour soon, but I do actually have to go bring the car back right now to the dealership so that they can kind of clean it, put in the leather seats, like I said, and then we will be getting her back in a little while, in a couple days but I just wanted to take it home and show my family. So I was just showing my family, showing Tundi, everyone loves it. Yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. We will be back in my Jeep very soon. I'm just feeling very happy and very grateful right now. Today is the last day with my car. Today is my last time I will ever be filming in this Jeep. We're about to go turn her in in a few hours and pick up the new car. I can't even believe it. I'm so shook right now. Don't mind my appearance, I'm sorry. It's been a rough day. I'm gonna get ready soon. But I have to clean out the car, sadly. And if you guys did not know, this car, the Jeep, her name was Bitch. I didn't really ever tell you that in a vlog, but her name is Bitch. She is definitely a bitch for sure a good bitch she's amazing she has taken very good care of me i won't lie most of my friends who spend a lot of time with me in this car and especially chance have almost shed a tear thinking about saying goodbye to this car just because every one of my friends have kind of had their own like experience in this car and this car literally i swear has a mind of its own i don't know it's just so bittersweet to get rid of it like this car i can't even stress enough to you guys how safe this car has kept me i know i mentioned earlier in the vlog about the whole reason why i was getting a new car which was because i did get into a car accident in this one and ever since obviously it's had a lot of external issues and now it's starting to have internal issues so it's just time for her to retire it's time for her to go to the dealership they're gonna clean her up take such good care of her but 
but I did want to show you guys the damage on the car just because, like I said, I, I didn't show it before because of just privacy and safety reasons and obviously legal reasons as well. Now, since I'm getting rid of the car, I figured I could show you guys the damage from that car accident. So first of all, this snapped my little i forget what this is called some sort of guard to protect the hood this is kind of like most of it yeah this obviously took a beating this whole light was shattered we had to order a new light and my dad helped me put it in obviously this is a thing i think my dad actually zip tied it on because this piece was flapping and then obviously the trim came off here there used to be like a little plastic thing all on here it went away and then this is the other damage it kind of like cracked the windshield and obviously now there is what looks like a fucking bullet hole in the car and then my mirror also fell off so we had to replace it with a new mirror and of course when i ordered it online i did not look at the color so it came in black instead of silver but you know what it is what it is and then the other thing that's kind of funny that me and chance always joke about is how i have a glittery sparkly license plate and then this fucking beat up car so it's just very like broken but beautiful vibes you know but yeah so that was the damage from that car accident that's why i say this car protected me through so much like i was going really fast that night we have a gps that tracked where i was driving that night that i got roofied and i was driving really fast when i crashed and still kept going somehow and still got home somehow it feels good to kind of be entering into this new chapter and getting a new car and kind of starting fresh but i am gonna miss bitch so much like i just love her anyway i have my trash bag ready and it is time to clean her out Oh, I still have this little Jeep thing from, I don't know if, what it's called. This thing fell off the tire one time when I got a flat tire, so now I can keep it forever. That's awesome. I have all of my Ariana CDs. All of them are broken. This is so weird cleaning out my car. Oh, a champagne cork on a golf tee. I did, in fact, hit a ball off of this. And here is said ball. Of course, it is pink. <laughs> all right, she is all cleaned out. Everything is empty. I have everything right here that I'm gonna be taking with me to the new car, all of my car belongings. And then this is some clothing that I've had in my car that I need to get rid of, like I need to donate it somewhere. And then I just have my work shoes that are so nasty. But yeah, that is it for bitch. Oh, I will miss this car so much. The moment is here. It's our last time starting up, bitch. Time to bring her to her forever home, wherever that might be. We're here. Oh my God, I can't believe it's finally time. I just like, don't even wanna say goodbye to her. We're gonna love the new car. We have to think of a new name for her, which we will come up with over the next couple of weeks while we drive her. Yeah, that's it for bitch. Wow, look at that. You guys, we're in the new car! I am so shook right now. I'm trying to adjust my seat. My sales agent who sold me this car was amazing, by the way. He even had the air conditioner blasting for me when I got in because he knew that in my old car, I did not have AC. Oh, I'm just so excited. I have no words, I really don't. Look, this is what the inside looks like. And I think I already have my phone set up from last time when I test drove it. Oh my gosh, we got the brand new leather seats. Tundi is gonna love riding back here and there's so much floor space. Once I get home, I will give you guys like a full car tour and I'm gonna put all my stuff in this car so it's like, you know, personalized to me. I'm gonna Amzify this car. But right now we have to go pick up Chance because me and Chance are going to the gym, working on our fitness, getting summer ready, even though it pretty much is already summer. Yeah, it's time to take our first ride in our new car. Ooh, look what came on. My phone synced and the Sweetener Live album came on. Also, you guys, look at how you have to gear shift on this car. So in order to put it in drive, you have to go like that. And it's like a freaking airplane. I feel like I'm in a cockpit with all of these buttons. And it has the most perfect place to put my camera, even though I am gonna eventually go get my tripod out of the back and set that up. I don't want my camera flying all over the place. That would not be good. All right, we're off. These are our first freaking inches we're driving in this car. It's crazy. I see bitch in the background 
Bye, girl. Love you. Oh my God, I'm gonna miss her so much. I'm so sad. But you know what, guys? We are in a safe car. This is my first car that I'm actually buying by myself because my last car that I got that was like new that I used to vlog in, when I had that car, I was leasing it. So it technically was not mine. I technically did not own it and I traded it in at the end. This car is mine and I can either trade it in in a few years and get something else or I could just keep this car for a while, which is probably what I'm gonna do. Either way, I love it so much and I'm so happy and I just, I never thought this moment would come truly. I've been riding bitch and she's been so dangerous and I never thought that I would be in a safe car anytime soon. On that note, I will see you guys at home. We are back in the new car. This time we're with Tundi Bear. Tundi and I went on an hour long drive this morning with this car to the airport so I could drop off one of my friends and Tundi got to test out the car and she likes it. She slept so peacefully, but I figured that now that I have a little bit more time, I could show you guys around the car. Obviously, this is the steering wheel. It has a cute little dashboard and you can see everything you need to see on here. It's so nice. We have the light controls over here. I also love how there's wood trim in certain areas. I really, really like that. I think it makes the car look just a little bit more bougie. And then they have a little ledge here where you could put your phone or you could just put anything. Honestly, it's a nice little storage area. And then they have a cup holder down here. Actually, technically it could be two cup holders. Then in the middle, they have two cup holders here. And then this little storage area where I have my phone charger plugged in. And then I also have some lights plugged in. Chance actually helped me last night string lights under here. And it's kind of hard to see right now, but they make the floor glow and and it just looks really cool. You can kind of see on my sneaker down there. And then it has Apple CarPlay. We are listening to Sweetener Tour Live on here right now. Currently it's not on the Apple CarPlay screen because I don't have Siri hooked up. You need Siri in order to do that, but it does have quite a lot of stuff on here. Then over here, again, just the same kind of like wood trim. You can see the cup holder a little bit better on this side. And then I like this because it's almost like your passenger can kind of like let their phone rest in here or whatever they might be able to fit that's around that size. And then then we have the glove box. Pretty spacious in there. What a good girl. And then the passenger seat is actually pushed kind of a little bit back. Even considering that, there's still floor room in the back, which is nice. I probably should have gotten out of the car to show the back seat, but whatever. It also has a pocket in the back behind each seat. Of course, that pulls down into some more cup holders as well, but I'm not gonna disturb Tundi. And then there is a lot of room in the back. Again, I probably should have gotten out to show you guys the tour, but whatever, I'm lazy, so. Now Tundi and I are gonna take a ride to go see my grandma, her great grandma, and show her the car, so. Let's go. All right, it's time to get grandma and papa's opinion on the car. I'm gonna pull it up so they can see it. I might have to move the seat back for you. Oh. <laughs> what do you think? Hey, it's not bad at all. That's your next car. Yeah, well, you used no, to No, she one, had right? one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I thought of you when I was picking it out. You know what the auto stop does? The what? Auto stop. No. Okay, let's say you, you come to a red light and you're waiting or in traffic, it automatically shuts the engine down. Oh, to save gas? Oh, yeah. I didn't know I had that option. This right here, this will do your favorite move, uh, favorite stations. Cool. And if you have a phone, do you still want it running? Yeah, I just wanted you to be cool. I wanted to put the AC on for you. Yeah, to sit in there. and if you... Uh, I hooked up my phone on Bluetooth, but I don't have it with me, so that's why it's not playing. Let's see if you've got it. We can check. Yeah. Chance had introduced this to me. It's so you can put the seats down from all the way back here. Where'd you get it, Amber? Marty's GMC. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. You had to do what you had to do. Well, when I trade this one in in a couple years and get an Acadia, I'll go to gym. Oh, let's see here. This is the main one. Let's go there. That goes there. It was there. Just all my boom, stuff boom, from boom, the last boom. car. Eyeglasses. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Oh, you should be. It's, it's a good vehicle. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I am home. It's a little later now. I'm chilling with Tundi Bear. Right now, Chance and I are about to go get pedicures and it is because of a reason I realized I have not mentioned yet in this vlog. If you guys could not tell by my nails, I have an exciting trip coming up and I'm actually going to Las Vegas next week. So that is why I got my nails done like this with a little ace on my ring finger. And that is why we're going to get pedicures right now because I wanna have my toes ready for vacay mode. Yeah, so a lot of exciting things are happening in this vlog. First, the car, obviously 
obviously, and then I'm going to Vegas, which will not be in this vlog. That's gonna be its own separate vlog. I'm very excited and I cannot wait, but we need to go because the salon is taking us last minute. It's currently six o'clock. They're gonna squeeze us in before they close. So let's go. I'm with the man, Chance. Hey. We're about to whip it in my new car. Oh, yeah. She is ready, you guys. The people need to know what you think of the car. Oh, this car? <laughs> yeah. I love it. You it's like great. the new car? It's Chance approved. Yes. It drives so smooth. Chance got to drive it yesterday because <sighs> I had heart palpitations. It was so scary. Yeah, that shit was scary. Chance got to witness it. I don't remember if I've ever talked about it in a vlog or not. I get them and it's not fun and it's because I have low blood pressure and they're kind of like testing me right now to find out more so we can fix it. Long story short, so Chance got to drive the car because he drove us home from the gym, which is where I got the heart palpitations. Yeah. <laughs> Funny it was enough. scary. But yeah, now we're gonna take a little ride and go get our nails done. What are you doing, daddy? <laughs> Please move. <laughs> I'm glad we got that. This is like, him. Oh, <laughs> His daddy doesn't know what he's doing in front of us, so I'm really scared. Girl, what the fuck? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let me just be stuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the doggy. Oh my god. We love, I love puppies. Chance the walker. Go I'm so off. excited. <laughs> I know we're hungry. <laughs> Us and our nail girl were talking about dominoes and now we kind of uh, want dominoes. Maybe we're gonna get dominoes. Ooh. Okay, you guys, I'm home now. I'm with Chance, he'll be back in a minute. But look at our little setup. We got a bottle of Prosecco and we're pouring up some mimosas. Already added the ice and the orange juice. I added a little more orange juice than I usually do. Anyone who knows me knows this is actually kind of a lot of orange juice for me. I usually only do a splash, but you know what? We're behaving tonight. And then we got Domino's, of course. We got mushroom, pepper, and onion. For me, that is my favorite. Here's where the debate is gonna come in in the comments. Chance is pineapple and bacon. Oh yeah, ah! I'm terrible. <laughs> no, I liked it. I tried it. He is the first person that got me to try it. And honestly, I liked it. I like pineapple anything. Yeah, I'm just a texture person and I can't have like the juicy pineapple. pineapple. I'll fucking eat it. Pineapple chocolate, bitch. Mm. Mm. Pineapple alcohol? Yeah. yeah. All right, so we're gonna pop a bottle. And this so can be to Queen, my new car. Yay. And Chance, literally, I couldn't have done it without him. Guys, like Chance was literally texting me when I was at the car dealership I telling me like what to say. I just love cars and I worked at a car dealership and I just know what they want, so. Yep, we told them. What was up? Oh, and guys, look at our matching little like moment. And we just got pedicures. Yeah. Oh wait, yeah, they know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Woo! All right, you guys, it's time to make my car feel like home again and add all of my crap to it and customize it. I just want this car to feel more comfy. In fact, there are some things I'm gonna buy online to kind of like customize it even more. I wanna get pink fuzzy dice and a pink steering wheel cover because I just wanna be extra with this car. But for now, this is all of my crap from the last car. So we're gonna put it away. Can we first just talk about my sweatshirt, you guys? Look at this. It is a Gryffindor sweatshirt from Harry Potter, if you guys did not know. And I just love how it's like this tie-dye color. It's just, I don't know, it's really cute. I love it. I'm pretty sure I got this at either like Newbury Comics or Hot Topic or something like that. I can't even remember. But yeah, it is raining out. So of course, now I have to get my car dirty, even though the rugs were so clean. We're gonna have to vacuum that tomorrow. I wanted to show you guys this cool little like section that fits my fake Louis so perfectly. Look. 
has this little side pocket here and it fits her so perfectly. Like it literally feels like it was made for me. But there is also one on this side and Chance's purse fits perfectly right here as well. So we're like, oh my God, this is just made for us. I do kind of have to get going because I need to go to the grocery store, but you know what? We'll do this first. I have so much crap for my car. I keep masks in my car. Even though where I live, we don't necessarily need masks anymore. I still like to have them just in case like the place that I go, God forbid, needs masks. I think I'm going to keep these leather care wipes in the back in that bin actually, but I do have an umbrella that I keep in my car. This one is so cute. It's like a little flamingo yellow umbrella. It's adorable. I guess this segment of the vlog is kind of going to be like my car essentials. So, you know, if you were interested, I also have these little bedazzled clips that I put on the backs of my seats and it can hang like purses or bags. For instance, if you had, you know, grocery bags that you wanted to put not on the floor, but you wanted them to hang. These are perfect. I love them. I got them on Amazon. And by the way, you guys, I do have an Amazon storefront page where you can shop like all my favorite Amazon things. I put them in categories. So I do have a car section so you guys can see like all the stuff that I buy for my car. It's so cool that I have AC again. I literally went the past two years not having AC in my car, which was a fucking struggle in the summer, let me tell you. Then I also keep Ozium, which if you guys did not know, this is a deodorizing spray. It apparently will suck all of the odors out of your car. What is left in the bag are freaking a million Ariana Grande perfumes. And then I have a pumpkin latte bath and body Works spray. Notice how they don't have the caps because I just, your girl does not have time. Like I just need to grab it and spray. Then I also have this Victoria's Secret Pure Seduction spray in here. This one does still have the cap because I must not have been using this one enough. Then I also like to hook a little trash bag on here so I can put trash. It's easily accessible because it's on the passenger seat so I can just stick trash right in there. Oh, of course, I have to have some mace. Chance actually gave this to me. So we're gonna put that in the glove box actually. Oh, you know what? I could put, or not glove box, <sighs> center console. I always get those two mixed up. I think what we're gonna do is put the perfumes in here. all wipes here to stop them all from moving. Oh yeah, I still have my little Jeep like cup holder protectors. So I am gonna put those in just so I still have a part of bitch with me. I'm throwing all of my broken CDs into the glove box. Oh yeah, and I have my little lighter leash. You can attach this somewhere and then your lighter will never get lost, which is really cool. Then I also always keep some tampons in my car. So I am gonna throw those in the glove box as well. I have to put my little memorial card for one of my grandparents who passed away this year. I always keep that in my car. And then I keep some Febreze in my car as well. I don't really have the best spot for this right now. For now, I just hung it on the back of the seat. All right, guys, it is currently 11 o'clock. I need to get my ass to the grocery store so I can prep for my bestie Kelly coming over. We're gonna have a cute little lunch. I'm not gonna be vlogging that today though because I am gonna end this vlog here just because it has been so long like this vlog has been so many days compiled into one and i decided that that is what i'm gonna start doing from now on kind of like i used to do back in 2019 if you guys go watch all my vlogs from like 2019 to early 2020 i always did longer more like weekly style vlogs so i think i'm gonna get back to that and i am gonna start posting on tiktok and instagram more so go follow me over there i will have it linked down below or it's just amber j greaves if you guys want to find me over there but that is going to be it for this vlog today thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed Enjoyed the process of getting this car. This has been something that's been weighing on me so heavy and people who know me personally know that the car has been something that has just been such a freaking struggle for me and has been stressing me out so much. And so the fact that it's over and done with is just amazing and I just, I feel so good. I feel so proud of myself for not giving up because these past five months of this year have been incredibly difficult. So it's just nice that now it's finally something good is happening. And then of course, next week we have Vegas. So stay tuned to make sure you are subscribed because the next vlog is going to be my Vegas vacation. It is gonna be a hot mess, so you don't wanna miss it. And before I go, this is this week's shout out of the week. Huge shout out to all of my boos for being so supportive. Thank you so much. I love you so much. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.